Hey there and welcome to the Code Wrinkles channel. What makes a great software engineer? I receive this question very often in different contexts and in different forms. And to be honest, often I ask this question myself. That's why I really wanted to create a video in which I give my answer to this question. But that would be kind of boring, wouldn't it? And then again, what would other experienced software engineers have to answer to this specific question? So I thought, let's do something special with this video. And therefore, I reached out to your favorite .NET creators here on YouTube and asked them this exact question, what makes a great software engineer? And they were kind enough to provide me with an answer almost instantly. Therefore, without further ado, here's what your favorite .NET creators think about what makes a great software engineer. Hi everybody, my name is Anton, I run the Raw Coding YouTube channel and in my mind what makes a great software engineer are two things. Besides being a decent human being, you want curiosity. Curiosity is that thing that is going to propel you forward. There is a lot of unknowns out there and you want to find out some of those unknowns. You're going to do research, you're going to verify your own knowledge, you're going to decompile stuff, you're going to read other people's code. In the end of your curiosity journey, you're going to end up knowing a lot. Me, as your team partner or your colleague, I'm going to benefit from that and it's going to be a joy to work with you because you know a lot of stuff. The second trait that you want to possess is discipline. And discipline can be learned. And the reason you want discipline is our job is not all green field. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes there is a lot of bullshit to deal with. And sometimes there is a lot of stress when stuff breaks, especially in production. You want to be calm, collected, no matter if you like to do this task or don't, you show up you do it and therefore you get reliability as a team member. Not only can I learn from you, but then when things get tough, I can actually depend on you. And then all of those good qualities actually get reflected on me as well. Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com. Having a decent amount of knowledge of the level of abstraction below you. As an example, if you're using ASP.NET Core, I'm not talking about reading the docs, understanding the API surface and how you use it. But really what I'm referring to is what's the level of abstraction that it provides? What is it abstracting? It's abstracting HTTP and concepts around it. Understanding those concepts to a certain degree will help you, especially with troubleshooting. When you do run into an issue, because you understand these underlying concepts, you'll have a better idea of just where to start troubleshooting. You won't be kind of lost of, I have no idea where to start. You will have an idea where to start. And what typically happens is you'll think to yourself, well, if I were implementing this, how would I do it? And oftentimes you might not be that far off. So it greatly helps troubleshooting, which is a lot of what we do. And it just doesn't end kind of with your application code. It's actually where your application and your systems run, because those are also sitting on top of some levels of abstraction. So if we're talking about cloud services or Kubernetes or Docker, there's a lot of things that are going on there. And if you understand how they run, it can help you greatly when you need to troubleshoot any type of scenario that you're in. Hey, my name is Milan. I'm a software architect and Microsoft MVP, and I run the Milan Jovanovic Tech YouTube channel. So today I have the pleasure of answering the question, what makes a great software engineer? I'll divide the answer into three areas that I think are necessary to be a great software engineer. The first one is technical skills. A great software engineer has to be proficient in a number of technologies, starting with your programming language of choice, being able to write clean code, knowing when to use which design pattern. As you become more senior, things like databases, software architecture, working with distributed systems become the more important aspect that you need to focus on. The second thing a great software engineer needs is a growth mindset. We live in a world where technology is changing faster than ever before and I think it's crucial that you stay up to date with the latest trends. This also ties into continuous learning and staying motivated to always try to get better. And the last area that makes a great software engineer are soft skills. Knowing how to communicate with your teammates, how to express and defend your ideas, when not to use technical terms depending on your target audience. These are all things that are important for progressing in your career. And lastly, I think it's important to always try to give your best, 
try to improve yourself but also don't forget to help the others around you. If you want to get better at .NET and software architecture, I write a weekly newsletter to more than 22,000 engineers and I would love it if you joined us. I hope you can use some of these tips to become a great software engineer and don't forget to stay awesome. Hi, my name is Gerald. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft and I have a YouTube channel about software development with .NET. So if that's something that interests you, go check that out. But today I'm here to answer the question that Dan asked me, what makes a great software engineer? And I've been thinking about this for the past couple of days and there is no simple answer to this question. But the one thing that stood out to me that I kept coming back to is um, be eager to learn, ask questions. Maybe that's the more important one ask questions. There are no dumb questions. There are no stupid questions. And especially if you are a more junior person, it can be very intimidating to sit in a meeting with more senior people and be like asking that really basic question, right? But please do it. Please do it. If you are in a safe environment, um, you should be, then those people are not going to make fun of you. They're going to be like, oh yeah, I would love to explain that to you and you will learn from it. And that's the worst that could happen, right? Um, and even more so, I've had it happen to me multiple times where I'm in this tunnel, right? I have all this experience, more than a decade of software development now. And um, I'm like, from that basic question that you're asking, I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't think of that. Like that is even more simpler than I could have ever done and ever imagined, right? So it will give me a new perspective and we have a little talk and chat and we will learn both. That is my answer to the question, what makes a great software developer? What's up everyone, it's Amichai from the Amichai Man to Man channel. So what I think makes a great software engineer is an engineer that strives to understand what's happening in the next layer. What I mean by that is let's say you're a backend developer, so you can simply use the framework to create your API or whatever you're building, but you can also strive to understand how the framework actually works, how things are implemented behind the scenes. And having this type of understanding really gives you a holistic view of the system, allowing you to make smarter and better decisions as time goes on. Now, I just want to note that being a great software engineer isn't a goal that you arrive to and that's it. From now on, you're a great software engineer, but it's there are some days and there are some days we're all human. Some days are easier to be experts in our field and dive deeper and understand how things work under the hood. And some days are harder and it's harder also to remember all the technical details and also just to give it our best. And it's okay. I think it's important to have the mentality of we're in it for the long run and it's okay. Some days when we're not up to it, just to rest and take a deep breath and know that in the future, when we have, when we're up to it, then we'll give it our all. Hi, I'm Claudio and my YouTube channel is all about .NET development. And yes, hard skills such as knowing a programming platform or a programming language are very important, especially when you start your career. However, after two to three years of experience, they become less and less valuable. Instead, I look out for these three things what make a great engineer for me. Self-awareness. What experience do you have? What are your strengths and weaknesses? You know where you are the expert and when you need to ask for help. Communication skills. You know how to explain your solution using simple words and why you chose your solution over other options. It makes it simpler to collaborate and solve complex problems with you. Growth mindset. No matter how experienced you are, you always continue to learn new things. For example, you listen to podcasts, you read newsletters, or you watch YouTube videos. You can also join a local user group or go to conferences. A great learner increases your value over time, which is beneficial for you, your coworkers, and the company.
Hey friends, my name is Guy. Everyone that knows me knows that I'm always looking for simple things, simple ways of describing anything. So to the question, what makes a good software developer? I tried to come up with only three key elements. The first quality that I found on the best software developers that I work with is that they are continuous learners. They are eager to learn new things. They are excited to do it because they are passionate about it. And that passion will lead to the second quality because they will be so excited about the things that they just learned that they want to share with everyone. So they are mentors, they are teachers, they are good communicators. They don't need to be public speakers. They are just so extremely excited to share the things that they just learned with everyone because they know that that is the most impactful thing that they can do. That is the best way to scale their work. And the third and last quality is that they are excellence driven. They think a lot about quality. They think a lot about doing a good job. They think about their craft. They think about the impact of the things that they do on their business, on the users, on everyone involved on that small thing that they are just doing. They know that every single step counts. They are upset when things go wrong. They try to improve even when no one asks for that. In other words, they are craft persons. And by the way, if you want to know more about those topics like craftsmanship, make sure you subscribe my channel. See you soon. That's it. Now you have a complete roadmap, I would say, that would help you to understand exactly what makes a great software engineer and also help you pinpoint which areas exactly would need some work. Now you have all this type of information from different people in one single place. And obviously, I would like to take this occasion to really say a big thank you to all the creators that contributed to this video. Anton, Derek, Milan, Gerald, Amihai, Claudio and Gui, you really rock. I'll also leave you links to their YouTube channels and other cool stuff that they are involved in in the description of this video. And if you're here, don't forget to hit the times up button for this video and subscribe to the Codemakers channel if you're for the first time here. This being said, thank you very much for watching and until the next time, I wish you the very best.